From the Multidict.net menu, teachers can enter Clil Store and create multimedia-rich interactive web pages where all words are linked to online dictionaries in more than 100 languages. This is a step-by-step -step guide demonstrating how to make an online unit with video or audio and text where all the words are linked to a variety of online dictionaries. The unit demonstrated is found at multidict.net slash cs slash 780. Let's have a look at that unit before I demonstrate how it was made. The page has a video from ted.com embedded and includes a full transcript of the video. I can click on any word to look it up in online dictionaries. I can choose the target language if I want the word translated and change dictionaries. Let's see how the page was made. From multidict.net I go to the teachers area in Clil Store by clicking the blue arrow pointing at teachers. I then have to click Register. It's now time to select a user ID. I type in my full name. It will be visible for other users. And my email, which will not be shown to other users. And finally a password which must be at least eight characters long. I can now log in with my username and password. Having logged in, I can create new units or edit existing units. It's also possible to delete my own units. Now it's time to click Create a Unit. The Create a Unit page has a number of fields and options. Title. Here I have to write a suitable heading for the new unit. Float. This is where I choose how the text will be placed in relation to video or audio. For a long video, it's usually a good idea to select scroll text so a user can follow both the text and the video. If I want to embed a video, audio or photo from youtube.com, ted.com, vimeo.com, flickr.com etc. I have to look in those websites for the option share and embed. In ted.com I have selected a video with Scott Fraser and I click the Embed button. I can then copy and paste the full embed code into the Clil Store field Embed Code for Media or Picture. I can embed video and other media in the text field below, but it is only media entered in this field that can make use of the Float option. It is now time to add text to the unit using the text window which features a What You See Is What You Get editor. Please note that there should be a blank line between each paragraph to ensure the text is easy to read. In the Editor field, you get a new paragraph if you press Enter. If you want to take a new line without creating a new paragraph, such as when writing out the words of songs, then press Shift and Enter. There are several websites that offer both video and transcripts. In this example, I'll use a video from TED.com. I click on the button Show Transcript, select English, then I copy the full text. The text from TED.com has a lot of hyperlinks that I need to remove before I can paste it into the editor window. 
If I don't do that, the results would look like this. It can be difficult to remove all text formatting, and I only know of texts from TED.com where it is needed. But here is a simple trick. Paste the text into the summary frame below the editor. Then select all the text. On my Windows computer I do this by pressing both Ctrl and A. On my Apple computer the same is done with pressing both the Apple key and A. I now need to cut the text so it can be pasted into the editor. On my Windows computer I do this by pressing both Ctrl and X. On my Apple computer the same is done with pressing both the Apple key and X. Finally, I can now paste the clean text into the editor field. On my Windows computer, I do this by pressing both Ctrl and V. On my Apple computer, the same is done with pressing both the Apple key and V. Link buttons. Here it's possible to create buttons that link to other web pages and exercises. These should be designed to help learners and should be relevant to the main content of the unit. I have to write a short title. In the Greenfield button text, I write Tools Website. I then write the full web address in the Link field. It is highly recommended to copy and paste in addresses so there is no misspelling. There is a checkbox named WL if this box is ticked, then the page which I link to will be processed so all the words there are also linked to online dictionaries. But remember that some web pages have errors, so they don't work with the WL feature. I can choose to have the web page open in a new window by clicking this box. In this example, I also want the users to be able to download a text file, so I enter the text download Clill Store guide and paste in the address of where that guide is stored for example my public folder on Dropbox. Here I select the language of the text. This example is in English. It is important for the learners to select units with suitable language levels. I have to estimate the level needed by a learner in order to benefit from the unit. In this example I select B2 because I've decided that users of level B2 will be able to understand the content by clicking on difficult words. The levels are based on the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages. I will now tick the media type as video. Some users want to know the length of the video, so add the duration here. I use the format minutes, seconds. In this case, 1829. You should provide a short summary or appetizer, describing the content and suggesting why the material is beneficial. An added benefit of providing a summary is that the text, and hence the unit, will be searchable by search engines such as Google. I copy the summary from TED.com and paste it into the summary field. In language notes, I'll put in the text American English, good sound quality, and clear pronunciation. If this is still just a test unit, I should click here. But please only tick this box if the unit is unfinished or is only an experiment. And in that case, please remember to complete it or delete it later. Owner. When I tick this box, I testify that I have the right or permission to use the texts and video, etc. In this example, I have used text and video from TED.com that are legal to use in Clillstore. At the same time, I indicate that I agree to the Clillstore copyleft policy. A summary of the policy is provided. Finally, I click Publish, and I will have instantly shared it with colleagues and learners around the world. That's it. The unit has been given a number, for example 780. This means that the web address to the unit is multidict.net slash cs slash 
780. All closed store units have short addresses like this one. Just replace 780 with the number of another unit. Having a unique address for each unit means that direct links to units can be shared via blogs, VLEs, Facebook or even Twitter to tell my students which unit to work with or to alert colleagues to relevant units. After I've published a unit, I can return to it and edit it where needed. This is one of my units, multidict.net slash cs slash 245. I just click the pencil icon at the top to edit the unit. I have different tools available in the text editor window. I can format the text, make a line bold, change the text color and background color. I'll put some pictures in the text. In this case, I'll use Dropbox from dropbox.com. Dropbox allows you to store files. However, one of its most useful features is the public folder, which allows you to share files via public links. Here I have gone to my Dropbox folder. I right-click a photo I want to use. In the drop-down menu, I select Dropbox and Copy Public Link. I go back to Clillstore and click the Insert Edit Image icon and I paste in the link. I can also set the dimensions of the picture as required. Or I can click OK and then drag it to the size I want. I can place a video or audio anywhere in the text. I just click the Insert Edit Video icon. It works for both video and audio. I can either enter the address of the video or video source, or I can use the Embed option. When I want audio, I often use iPadio.com and SoundCloud.com. Both services are free, but with some upload limits. They offer different ways of embedding the audio. When I want to use video, I often use vimeo.com and youtube.com. Both services are free, but with some upload limits. They offer different ways of embedding the video.